So in one of my studio vlogs, I received a comment asking if I can test out the online labels weatherproof matte sticker paper. They've been having trouble with it being waterproof. So I thought I would give it a try. I contacted my rep over with online labels, Johnny, and he generously put in an order for me and sent me these so that I can try out. He did say that the waterproofness of it is just the paper and if the ink isn't waterproof that might be a reason why it's not waterproof we're gonna try it out i am making some vinyl stickers so that you guys can put it on like water bottles and stuff and i think it's really cute this one i'm making right here is a mango yogurt drink and i am also going to try out this jan j and j packaging printable vinyl sticker paper we'll try both of them out today first i'm gonna do the online labels weatherproof matte sticker paper So I'm gonna get this cut out and then I'm gonna just take one piece and add some water to it and see if it's is it waterproof or weatherproof? Oh, it's weatherproof. I've been calling it waterproof, but it's weatherproof stickers. So maybe it's not necessarily waterproof. Um, I'm not really sure. We'll see. So I just got a little eyedropper with a little bit of water in it. So we're gonna try to... Moment of truth. Two drops is enough, right? Okay, honestly, it's not that bad. I dropped the water here and then I dropped the water here. It's a little darker, but it's actually not smearing. It's actually not bad. And actually, the dark spots are even going away. Oh. So it's like returning back to normal color and then on the tissue. I don't know, let's blot it again. Color's not really coming off. I don't know if you guys can tell. But it is returning back to the original color, so like, quite nice! With the glossy vinyl paper, I was having a lot of trouble getting the machine to register the registration marks and I was googling solutions and I came across this video from Sarah Types on how to hack the machine into cutting glossy paper because I think that's an issue that Cricut has it's hard to register glossy papers she put scotch tape on the registration marks and it worked like a charm so this area was the initial Thing that I tried to do I was trying to use like the other um, matte 
paper and use the registration marks to cover over it. It did not work. It was a hot ass mess. But look guys, if you look down here, all of them are cut perfectly. I will link her video down below if you guys are interested in uh, learning how to hack your Cricut machine to print glossy papers. So I have two more yogurt drinks. I have a melon one and a strawberry one. And then I have three Vita soy drinks. Um, the malt one, chrysanthemum. Is it malt? I think it is malt. Wheat? I'm not sure. One of them, the chrysanthemum one and um, the regular soy milk one. Those are my three favorite Vita soy drinks. But if you guys have any like Vita soy drinks that you guys like and you guys would like me to make a sticker out of it, I can definitely design more. I don't know if you guys noticed, but on these Yogo drinks, um, each one has like a different item inside of it so like these mango ones these mango ones i have little high chews in them um and then the melon one i have the malona pops and then the strawberry one i just have strawberries in them <laughs> Up at 11 o'clock, I ain't got no job. What the hell should I do today? This feel like some mound, give a fuck. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. I ain't hearing what you gotta say. What the deal, how you feel, not important. All I'm thinking about is riding in these Porsches. The people be coming at me with that horse shit. And like you know me, that's the worst shit. I know in my soul. Hey guys, it has been many a days since I have vlogged anything. I've been trying to play catch up with vlogs, but today is a packaging day and I know you guys love when I package. I've been getting a lot of requests to do more packaging videos on my Instagram and also on YouTube. So I've recorded a few packaging videos earlier for my Instagram, um, for Instagram Reels. So. If you guys are watching this, please show me some love, follow me on Instagram, DM me, I reply to DMs. <laughs> yeah, let's get to packaging. I have new products to pack, pack, pack bleh, package, so that'll be fun. If you watch my desk tour, you will know that that is my normal desk setup. 
Hi, it's Future Susan. I wanted to pop in to talk a little bit more about the desk that I just mentioned. So the standing desk that I have at my house is the EN1 desk from FlexiSpot and they reached out to me again and they wanted to send me their newest desk, the Vici desk I think it's pronounced, V-I-C-I -I desk. And this desk is the easiest desk to freaking build. I'll insert some clips here of me building the desk for my boyfriend's house. So right off the bat, upon just doing an unboxing of the desk, I could already tell it was going to be a lot easier to build than the previous desk that I have, the EN1. Everything you need for the desk came in just one box and almost everything was already attached to the tabletop. All we really needed to do was to attach the legs and we didn't need to use any of our own tools at all. All the tools that you needed to assemble the desk came with it, even a screwdriver. There was a little like L-shaped screwdriver to attach the things and I just thought the screwdriver thing was so cool. I kid you not, it took all of about 10 minutes to put this entire desk together. The hardest part was honestly just to flip it over because it's a heavy desk, but it is a very sturdy desk because it is heavy. <laughs> So we just finished putting together the table. It was actually super easy to put together. Way easier than the EN1 desk is the other desk that I have. Um, there's no drilling involved. There's no tools at all. It comes with all the tools that you need. And the assembly process was super easy and super fast. I think we did it in like 10 minutes. Yeah, like it, it took were, about 10 minutes. It is a very heavy um, thing, but it took only 10 minutes to put together. So that was really cool. We're now powering it on to see if it'll work because that's the yeah. ultimate test. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, this is nice. And it's the same width as um, my desk. Hold on, why are we so orange? I think I ch Okay, we're back to normal. FlexiSpot has sent me the EN1 desk last time and then they uh, wanted to send me this one to try out and I... The assembly process has already won it all for me. This desk is so easy to assemble. So I have a coupon code for you guys. If you are planning to purchase this desk and you want to save some coin, please use the link in the description box. Okay, now back to past Susan talking about her desk situation. This is packaging station. This is cutting desk. And then that is also a, you know, workspace. I call that my timeout table <laughs> because it's just in that corner right there. Also, my friend Jin gave me this cute little plant. I have never, okay, I take that back. I have played with planting once and it didn't go so well. I had an aloe plant, it died on me. So I gave it to my mom and she revived it. So I was like, I just don't have a green thumb. I just can't. But she said that these pothos are really easy to take care of. She was propagating her pothos plant. So she gave me three little sprigly diggly dings of her pothos. So we will attempt to try to be a plant mom. I have one plant baby. <laughs> this is like my crafty table. Um, and that's why I have the mat there. This is my Cricut cutting station. I will also be packaging here. Um, and then I have this chair that I park here, but I can just swing it between the two desks, which I quite like. So I packaged this one embroidery keychain for my IG Reels. So I'm gonna teach you guys how I package this cute little guy. So I printed out these little backing cards um, and they're just one-sided. It says embroidery hand-sewn keychain and then it has my website down there what we're going to do is use this baker's twine and I'm just gonna feed it into an embroidery needle um, this will not work with a regular needle because the eye of the needle is not big enough okay so after we have fed it in I have all of these right here that I need to do kind of center it and then I kind of know like where I want to place it and then I will just poke a pilot hole and then so just a little hole right there and then I'm gonna feed it through the back ow, I just poked myself and then we're gonna put this back on here like that at the point and then I'm gonna poke through again 
This time I'm gonna pull the needle back. And we're gonna take the needle out and just kind of pull the string until we just have just enough to make a knot. And then I just double knot it for security. And then I snip off the excess. And ta-da! That looks really flipping cute. Last thing that we need to do is just to stick it in a little cello bag. Usually when I stick my products in, I like to have like the sealy portion of it be the bottom. But because this little guy right here is a little bit chonky, it's thicker than the normal things that I stick in these cello bags. Um, I'm going to put it put the sticker part on the top because there's less um, width here. So after you stick it in, it gets kind of a little bit funny. Um, and then... Ta-da! All done, and it's so cute. So there we have two, and I'm just gonna go package the rest of them. Look at I am watching Bates Motel and I flippin love it so much. I have been binge watching it. It just it draws me in and I can't stop watching it. <laughs> so while I was packaging, I was watching Bates Motel. I am done packaging all of them now. They're so flipping cute. Oh my god, look how cute they are. I have more that I haven't made into like the embroidery hoops yet, but these will be up on my Etsy shop. They should already be up. So whenever you guys see this. Yeah, I love the packaging so freaking much. Ah, they're so cute. So I just got my mail and I received this cute little package from my friend Deborah. I bought a art print from her. I'm excited to open it. I love her art. She's a really, really great artist. So I was taking an Instagram story unpackaging. Trying to do two things at once is kind of hard. But yeah, so this is the art print that I got from Debra and it's so pretty. I love the clouds. This is real freaking pretty. <laughs>
Thank you. 